Good afternoon. My name is Melissa, and I'm the author of The Big Secret, The Secret to Body Fat Loss and Long-Term Control. This video is going to be discussing how to make a lunch for weight loss. Now, when we think about lunches, we either think sandwiches and chips, or soup, or the salad, when we think about weight loss, having a salad. I don't have much against a salad, as long as it's part of an otherwise nutritious meal. But salad by itself, the only real fiber, the only real value is fiber. So we're going to be looking at a couple of alternatives. And let's start with, um, we're going to be using t bread or crackers, which are whenever you choose. Now growing up, I was always told that wheat bread was healthier than white bread. But as I did my research, I discovered that the only real difference between white and wheat is brown sugar or molasses to make the bread brown. No nutritional difference. Nothing is healthier than everything. anything else. Same absorption rate, same calories. When you look for a bread or a cracker, what you want to look for is the non-GMO project seal, and that tells you that the grain is not a, uh, not a uh, GMO. <coughs> and then you want to look at the label. You want b wheat berry or grain berry or cracked grain. Our grains are so processed that their nutritional value is nominal. So you want to go with the breads or crackers that say split or berry. That means that the grain is whole and then the split is still a whole grain, it's just been split. Lunch meat uh, has a lot of added sugars, fats, and salt. It also has something called pink slime. Eighty percent of our processed meats have pink slime in them. That is your intestines, skin, stuff the butcher normally put in dog food until about 10 years ago. And since these intestines carry pathogens that can kill us, they're washed in ammonia. And to cover the ammonia, they're chemically treated to taste better, or MSGs. Yeah, now you see why it's putting pounds on our waistline. <coughs> so when I cook dinner, I'm took a little extra, uh, in this case it was chicken, and I just shredded it with a fork, pull it apart. So that's my lunch meat. Then I have uh, no a non-GMO ma uh, mayonnaise, free range eggs, and then chives that I chopped out of my own garden. So we're just going to put those all together. Maybe I should have mixed some beforehand so this video wouldn't take you take too long. You can put anything you want in here. Pickle relish. Uh, I'm not really a fancy person, so I like the basic food. So here you have no chemicals, uh, lowered absorption rate because it doesn't have the factory sugars. And that's another thing when I look for, when I look for bread, I look for regular real sugar and uh, raw sugar or honey instead of factory sugars. Factory sugar, sugars can often have a absorption rate over 150, which means a GI over 150 basically means that it releases so much insulin that not only will the sugar in this turn instantly to fat, but sugar in the other food, which may have been used for energy, will instantly be turned into fat. So those factory sugars, they do a lot of damage. And then
all of the tea. And you can find more information as well as the first couple of chapters of my book free online at www.thesecretnumber1.com and click the subscribe button so you can get more videos as they come available. Thank you!